Hello, this is Travis Saban with Adobe Analytics Product Management, and today I'm going to be walking you through dynamic dropdowns. So previously in Adobe Analytics, you could create a static dropdown by opening up a dimension and looking at its dimension item list and selecting a handful of dimension items, dragging them onto the panel header and pressing shift and turning those into a dropdown that you could select from. And this functionality still exists and is still great, but we've now added the capability to create dynamic dropdowns. So to create a dynamic dropdown, instead of selecting the dimension item, you will select the entire dimension. So in this case, I'm going to select countries, bring it over to the same drop zone and press shift, same behavior. But now I've created a dynamic dropdown based on my country's dimension. So instead of selecting my dimension items for countries, I'm selecting the entire country's dimension. And now my items that will show up here in this list are based on the data that I have for the last 30 days. And so um, this list is dynamically updated to be based on the data that I have available. So if I start collecting data from other countries, then this list will update and change. Now, if I add multiples, let's see, I'm going to do regions and cities. So another thing to note is you'll see the dynamic ones are designated by this little filter icon here. The static ones do not have that. So you can differentiate which is a dynamic and which is a static. You can still rename just like you can. You can right click to delete the dropdown or to delete the label entirely. Um, and just like you can with static dropdowns. And now because these are dynamic, the dynamic ones interact with and are influenced by the other selections that are being made. So if I choose a region, let's say California in my regions dropdown, now my cities will update to only show regions that are cities that are associated with that region. So I have all my California cities here. And likewise, my countries will be updated as well. So they, there's a little bit of interplay here between them. So if I pick India here, now my cities should be cities within India and so on. So if I, as you're seeing, if I want to s clear my, any selections because these are limited and I don't know why you hit the reset button. If I make selections here, by hitting reset, I will clear any selections I have previously made. If I make an update to one of my static dropdowns, let's say I'm choosing Lou Mobile Phone, my dynamic ones will update accordingly as well. Now you can see I've got Germany listed here under my countries that were available and a few others. And if I select and it's taken out my uh, Indian option that I had previously. And so now if I make a selection here, I can continue to do the same kind of filtering that I was doing before. And again, if I want to clear these, I just simply click reset. It will reset all both dynamic and static dropdowns. So dynamic dropdowns are great, especially if you are, you know, you're going to be collecting new data or your data set might change over time. You don't have to come back in and continually update or refresh or redo a static dropdown with dynamic dropdowns. You can just set it, forget it, and it will update based on the data that you have available to you. So. Those are dynamic dropdowns. Thank you.